All right, here's another quick little lesson, uh, single theorem, talking about segments from secants and tangents. And the, se the theorem is called the tangent secant segment theorem. <laughs> Sounds like a tongue twister. If we have a tangent and a, segment and a secant, so a tangent line like uh, this one up here on top, A, and a secant line like BC here, like so, then we can calculate, kind of like we have in the last uh, couple of previous lessons, we can calculate missing parts or missing links of these lines, in this case by squaring the length of A, and then uh, it will be equal to B times B plus C. So if we have, say, for instance, um, a five unit length for segment A here from our tangent point out to the vertex, and say um, four units for B, then we can calculate the length of C by squaring A, so we do 5 squared, and setting that equal to 4 times 4 plus C. Well, that gives us 25 would be equal to 4 times 4, that's 16, plus 4 times C, that's 4C. Then we subtract 16 from both sides, and we get 9 equals 4C, and then divide both sides by 4, and we'd get, think, think nine fourths or two and a quarter is equal to c. So that tells us that this segment down here would be quite a bit shorter than the other two if this length was five and this length was four. Yeah, we're gonna have a, a couple of examples like this in your example questions, but you'll find that they're they're pretty straightforward. Uh, just recognize that uh, the only difference really between this theorem and the previous one is the fact that since we don't have two segments uh, on our tangent line, we just take the one segment we have and we square it instead of multiplying it by the other two pieces added together. Okay, let's take a look at the example questions.